morning viewers it's morning here in toronto today i'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free dairy free yes gluten-free dairy free for some of you who have a sensitivity to gluten and dairy this is a good recipe for you i don't follow any other recipe but this is just my own so first thing when you're do baking you have to turn your oven and into 350 degrees bake 350 degrees and then next we have to sorry butter or or oil whatever oil so i use coconut oil since this is uh, dairy free coconut oil and just brush your pan with it set it aside and then I'm using this overripe banana this is a perfect for baking so peel your banana I'm gonna use at least three and put them in the bowl okay so that's my bowl I'm gonna use three bananas so there we go two that'll be two i'm gonna use this i'm gonna put this in the freezer so don't throw your overripe banana i'll peel this put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the freezer so this is three and another trick that i'm gonna show you is I'm using this mash masher this is a masher it's not a beater um, I don't want to use the the beater because it's it's this one is better for me so if you have this if you don't have this just mash it with a fork this is this this is easier this is a very easy method of making a banana bread a one shot banana bread so um, one bowl okay so we have our bananas here next we have to put our eggs eggs so I use three three eggs there's no uh, okay usually they they tell you to put it in a small bowl so you don't get any uh, shell eggshell but I I just put it in here because I can see if there's any eggshell the best thing to take the eggshell out is use the same eggshell and just scoop it out so that's there um, so three. three eggs and then we have to do two cups of almond flour this is my almond flour I don't even sift it banana bread is very easy it's not fuzzy like you know you're making a very uh, nice cake that you need to make it fluffy and moist and there's a lot of like things to do when you're doing uh, a very you know moist cake so this is a banana bread uh, so this is my second cup so, two cups of almond flour and then I use a little bit of tapioca powder um, I use this is one fourth cup one fourth cup it in there it's tapioca and then our baking powder since we put like two and one fourth now so one I will put one tablespoon of baking powder for the it used to be like one two teaspoon one teaspoon per cup per yeah per cup so this is a tablespoon so that will do it one tablespoon 
and then I put a little bit of salt you always have to put a little bit of salt when you're baking to bring the sweetness of of your um, cake or your bread or your pancake or your um, so it's just a pinch of salt to um, to bring the sweetness because it brings the sweetness of whatever you're baking so we're there now um, we need some oil so I use the coconut oil I'm probably gonna use also one fourth of that so since I cannot take it from there without I'm gonna use this oh my oven is ready it's it's uh, making it sound so that's perfect because it needs to be in a in a right temperature before you put your your batter in it for baking okay so that's one fourth coconut oil it's cold here in Toronto so the coconut is not liquid it, it's not liquid it's it's hard see it's like a margarine it's like a thing batter so we have the ingredients there and then I'm not gonna use milk on this one because I just used up all my almond milk I'm gonna use a coconut um, yogurt okay hang on this is coconut yogurt I'm gonna use half a cup half a cup of coconut yogurt I think I have half a cup okay I have half a cup of coconut yogurt and then for my liquid part for my liquid part I'm gonna use a cup of regular water so Okay, half a uh, one cup of water. Okay, there you go. So everything is in here right now. I'm gonna get my vanilla here. So just another tablespoon of tablespoon of vanilla, just for flavoring. Mm, smells good already so since everything is there I don't put any sugar in here if you want to put a sugar in yours you can do that um, for me I don't want it anymore because I know that the banana sweetness is enough for me so but if you want you can try to use uh, if you if you want it healthy you can try to use uh, cocoa palm sugar honey um, anything that is like uh, here is maple um, maple syrup but you need to make sure that it is the original organic maple syrup so or if you're not really into that healthy product you can use your brown sugar okay so that's that so we're gonna start mashing going to start mashing using this so I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how it looks like right now. so you can see it's mashing it the right consistency and then I'm gonna show you later on how 
it looks like when I put it in the pan. Okay, so after one minute, this is how the consistency looks like. Okay, so that will be perfect. And um, if you want to use some nuts as well, which I have right here is um, pecan. I have some pecan nuts um, that I'm going to throw in here. So you can do that as well. So before you put it in the pan, you just throw the nuts in. Okay, so I'm putting some of this pecan nuts in my banana bread. Should be enough. I'm gonna put some on the top too. So just mix it. And then it's time to put this in the pan. This is the pan, so there we go. One bowl banana bread okay so that perfect see not a lot of um, mess so I have two cups in my thing in this one and we're good I didn't even use this so this is and I have like a uh, garbage bowl <laughs> here is my garbage except for one banana that I need to put in the freezer so now we're going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes in the preheat oven 350 degrees okay so I'm going to use my timer I'm going to put this in the oven and pick my timer. Okay. Timer to 40. Here it is. 40 degree, 40 minutes. And then you test it with a toothpick. I'm going to show you later as well. We are going to continue and look at the the bake thing that we're doing. So I put the topping at 30 minutes um, on top of this, which is so it will look like this. So if you have some nuts that you like. It doesn't matter what kind of nuts, uh, but this is pecan, pecan nuts that I put in my baking and then I put the rest on top of, of the 30 minute time. Okay, so after that, because I said 30 to 40 minutes, it's still a little bit jiggly. So that means we need to cook more. So put it back in the oven. So I think it needs another 20 minutes. So we set our timer to 20 minutes or 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you once it's done. So we finished the cooking time of the banana bread. We're going to see this is how you test test this one. If it's fully cooked, you have to prick it with your toothpick in the middle. And if it comes out clean, which this one is, very clean, that means everything is fully cooked. So we have to leave this for uh, to cool a little bit before I can take it out from the pan. I had to leave it here for a bit for at least probably 20 minutes and then we come back and then I'll show you I'm going to cut it afterwards okay, so we're back 
and I'm going to take this banana bread out from this pan so I'm just gonna run my knife on the edges to loosen it there okay so I think we're good Okay, we need a plate. Okay, oopsie. Okay, perfect. So, since it's upside down right now, I have a wire rack here. Wire rack to make it to cool it off more before we can oopsie you know when you use almond flour it's not as sturdy as the regular flour so it's kind of like breaking a little bit but it needs more cooling off than us again going everywhere anyway so I'm cooling it off in the wire rack right now. So continue to cool off um, for a little bit until it's really cold. And then we can try to cut it and taste it. Okay. So here we go. We've left this banana bread to cool off for a little while, maybe an hour. And then so we took it now from that cooling rack and I transferred it to this. So we can now cut, start cutting it so we know how it looks like. Okay, one cut. This is not a regular banana bread, so it won't, the expectation is different because this is made of almond flour, not the regular flour. So it's kind of, it's not that sticky because the, there's no gluten. So the gluten makes the flour sticky and this one doesn't have any, so it's kind of soft and a little bit mm. okay so here we go this is how it looks like this is how it looks like so it's not so there's no gluten so it's 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 sort of like not sticking to each um, it's like tearing apart a little bit that's how um, almond flour is that's why we put a little bit of tapioca on it so we can have a taste see for me that's already sweet and we didn't put any sugar so literally this banana bread is gluten-free dairy-free and sugar-free and it tastes good and we put pecan nuts on it if you're anywhere in the world in the Philippines you can put peanuts or cashew nuts which are really like local um, produce here in Toronto you have so much selections of nuts you have walnuts pecan um, cashew almond any nuts that you can think of you just go to the bulk barn and get your stuff there even the baking um, ingredients is just in the bulk barn and everything is there you just have to choose it 
So this time we choose this gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free banana bread. And you can do your own version of it. But I show you it's the very easy one bowl gluten-free banana bread. See you next time. Thanks for watching.